This is the overview of what I have canned in the month of June. And I'm going to go over each of these items with you. We'll talk about it and I'll tell you uh, the amounts that I canned because this is not all of it. I have given much of it away and some of it is in the refrigerator. So let's go ahead and do what I canned in the month of June. Good morning, everybody. This is Deanna with Food Bank Beautiful, and it is Wednesday, July 3rd at about almost 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, for those of you who watch my show regularly, you know my cousin was here to visit me, and we had the most incredible time. We had so much fun. Now, I didn't film a lot of that because she did not want to be on camera, and that is okay. That is no problem. You can see that I still have a little residual cuteness <laughs> from uh, when she was here, but that will fade quickly. In fact, let me just put your mind to rest. Look at these hands. <laughs> Girl is not a beauty queen. Now, the hands are a direct result of being out in the garden this morning. Though I have washed them, it'll take a shower tonight to get all that off. Plus, I have a couple hours more to do, so it is what it is. So, this is the monthly, what did I can in the month of June? Okay, and I gave you a counter overview, but now I want to go over them individually and just talk about, um, you know, what I can't. All right, okay, here we go. You saw in the overview that there were six jars of chicken stock or chicken broth on the counter for the month of June. I actually canned eight, I have used two. Now the chicken broth is from the um, $4.99 chickens that I get at Costco. We eat on them for four or five days. Grandma eats the legs and thighs. Addie and I work on the breast portions. And then I take that carcass and I um, make stock. So I did that twice in the month of June. These are not in order uh, of how I made them, but um, you know, they're, they're on the counter nicely, which you saw. <laughs> One of the things we canned, and this I just canned uh, about five days ago. This was Salsa Verde, Salsa Verde. I don't know if I pronounced that right, Salsa Verde. And I have six cans, uh, pint-sized cans on my counter. I have one jar open in the refrigerator, of course. Like I was saying, I'm gonna try to cough offline for you guys. I've already got my hands all over my nose. Now, you might be seeing my fingers. I don't know if I addressed this. I've been in the garden this morning and um, they'll just look like this. I got to do more gardening and I'll shower tonight and be nice and tidy. Back to the blackberry jam. The blackberry jam, uh, I would have to say is a, mm, I wouldn't call it a fail, but it's not something that I will can again. There were just far too many seeds to make this enjoyable to eat on toast. So what I did is I ran my open can of blackberry jam through the Vitamix mixer, uh, blended it all down, and have been using it in smoothies and whatnot. I also strained up some of it and made it into syrup, and that's what I will be doing with this blackberry jam throughout the year. I will open up a can, warm it up, strain it, and then make a syrup out of it. And it's likely I could recan that syrup. So there we go, blackberry jam. We also made a beautiful blueberry vanilla jam. On my counter, I have two uh, pints. I have a pint in my refrigerator and I sent a pint home with Laura. 
This was so yummy. It was so good. Mm, it's very good. And because I had a lot of blueberries, I made a second blueberry jam. This was the blueberry orange vanilla. There are three pints on my counter. I sent a jar home with Laura, and I have either a pint or a half pint in the refrigerator. This was really good. Now, I also canned something that is not on the counter. I, I don't know what's going on with my nose. The outside of my nose is just itching. Sorry. Sorry, your girl does not have manners. None. Sorry. Whoops. <laughs> she can't hold the camera still either. All right. So Laura and I canned 11 pints of strawberry jam. And I intended to send Laura home. God, can I speak? Our, we made a blueberry vanilla jam. This was absolutely delicious. Again, the color is so pretty. I have two pints on my counter. I have one pint in my refrigerator, and I believe I sent a pint home with Laura. And then we also, because I had an abundance of blueberries, both from the well and from the food bank uh, last month or the month before. So I made another blueberry jam called blueberry orange vanilla right here. I have some of this in my refrigerator and it is delicious. I have three pints on my counter and one pint I sent home with Laura. Now, ask me what I don't have on my counter. Go ahead. I do not have any of the strawberry jam that I made when Laura was here. And I think Laura and I made 11 pints of strawberry jam. And I intended to send her home with half of it, but apparently I sent her home with all of it. I cannot find a single jar of the strawberry jam that Laura and I made together. Now, I am not too upset about that. I love Laura to pieces and I can all the time. She does not can at all. So she will have a nice supply of jam for the next year or two and she can gift it out to some of her friends and family members as well. I still have um, strawberries and blueberries in my freezer that I can make jam out of and I suspect I will be doing that. I think I only have one more box of pectin. So I'll be making jam, one, one thing of jam, uh, sometime in the next few days and then I'll order some more pectin and make the rest. So that's what we did for our canning in June. Please remember, if you get an abundance of things from your food bank or from someplace like the well, you know, go ahead. If you have canning skills, take it home and can it up. You will use it for the next, depending on what it is, year or two in your pantry. And that is okay. Mm -hmm. That is okay. Don't let anybody make you feel bad about doing that. Okay? Okay. Not at all. You do it. I will continue to do it. Um, I know in the past I've received some snarky comments about that. I have addressed those in an episode called, If You Can't Say Anything Nice, Don't Say Anything At All, and I'm happy to address it again. Mama, don't play those games. I am not monetized. I will say what I want. So if you want to leave me ugly comments, then I will want to star you in a video. Yes, I will, and I will call you out by name because if you feel bold enough to leave snotty messages, I feel like you want me to put you in an episode of if you can't say anything nice at all. Don't say it, right? Help you learn those things you might have wanted to learn in kindergarten. That's a whole other story because honestly, you guys have not left me snarky comments in months. Okay, only took three episodes. I'm sure there'll be other episodes in the future, and I will love to make them, but that is not the topic of today's episode. It's what I can in the month of June. <laughs> all right, I'm going to put all of this away, and I'm actually going to pull out my canner. I have one 
at least one, and I think there's two. There might even be a turkey carcass in the freezer. I'm gonna go ahead and set up my pressure cooker because I like that to cook for hours and make some quarts of stock. And uh, then we will see what the day holds. But I'm gonna end this here. So you guys have a lovely day, 4th of July tomorrow, barbecue, eat great desserts, visit with your friends and family, have a great day, and I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, ta-ta.